Hey, welcome back to another episode of Archihacks. In this series, we'll be talking a lot about competitions. Competitions have been a big passion of mine for a long time, and I have a difficult time not recommending it to everyone that I talk to. In the next videos in this series, we'll be talking also about where to find these competitions and how to choose the right ones. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more of this topic. So without further ado, let's get started. So I think the number one reason why one should enter architecture competition is so that you can exercise creativity. In architecture school or at work, there's always some restrictions on what your program needs to be, or that can be in the form of program, square footage, budget, or even timeline. But even without all those factors, there's actually so much freedom in architecture competitions, depending on which one you enter. I think the ones that are most interesting to me are the ones that give you a lot of freedom, whether that be site or shape, and even like budget. This allows you to really explore a certain aspect of architecture that you normally can't in architecture school or at companies. So once you get too tired of like all the restrictions imposed to you by school and your work, then try exploring architecture competitions and really go out there and explore all your passions and specific niche area that you're most interested in. And who knows, this can be a really good practice for future projects. And that segues us into the second point, this is also a great practice and experiment to try out different tools and techniques. Oftentimes at school and work, the stake is a little too high to try different things out and take on all that risk. However, in architecture competitions, there's actually very little risk other than the risk of losing, which is actually quite high in a mathematical terms. So why not go all the way out? Try everything that you've always wanted to do all this time. This is the best opportunity for you to try out that new tool that you just learned through the video tutorials and even try out new visualization methods that is normally not accepted at school or at office. And what's really cool about architecture competitions is that they often reward you for doing very interesting visualizations and concepts, whether that be like super out of the box, even though when it's not very feasible. Sometimes their sole focus is on creativity and that allows you to really test out whether the idea is right, even though your execution may not be so up to standard. So with all these things considered, the objective of doing a competition is to win, right? So if you lose, do you lose everything? Of course not. You actually end up with something really important, and that is a project piece for your portfolio. Because your school and work has to fulfill a certain kind of very standardized building typology, Oftentimes, you'll end up with projects that look very similar to all the other students or other offices. However, in competition, they sometimes make the brief very extraordinary so that you can come up with very interesting concepts. And as a result, your project might look super different from all the other students or other candidates, and that allows you to build a very strong portfolio. So whether you lose or not, if you make a project that you really enjoy doing, and if you think it's really cool, then I'm sure it'll add to your portfolio no matter what the outcome of the competition is. So that's another reason to enter for competition. Another reason that we cannot forget about is the prize. Some competitions have really big cash prize, uh, some of them give you built projects, and other times they're just sheer recognition. And this is probably the main reason why a lot of people attempt competitions. However, I very strongly recommend you not to go for the prize because the chance of winning is very low. And those who actually win the competition is of course a very small fraction of all the people who enter. And regardless of all that, if you enter a lot of competitions and win just a few, it might still be a very rewarding pursuit. You still did it for something. Throughout my university career, I've entered numerous competitions. I'm proud to say that our team placed in top 10 for almost 20 competitions. And as a result, we've won almost $24,000 in prize cash, also got to travel all, all around the world, on a fully paid trips. Last but not least, also got real commissions to realize our actual projects. And of course, as students, these kind of opportunities are extremely hard to come by, and entering competitions might just be the only way to do it. And some of these benefits are possible despite your status as a student because of a very unique property of competition. Which brings us to the next point. The last reason to enter competition is that it is a fair process, or supposedly at least, because Entrants are supposed to be unknown to the juries, and therefore, it removes as much bias as possible. Of course, in the industry, competitions are increasingly becoming invitation only. Uh, however, historically, competitions have allowed young architects to rise to the fame, 
Those architects include people like Renzo Piano, Richard Rogers, Pierre Gingles, and many more. These famous architects were able to achieve their success early on because they found their early success in competitions. Despite their lack of experience, they were recognized just for their sheer potential in design, and those juries saw the right potential in them. And the format of competition was able to allow the juries to overlook their lack of experience and award them with extremely ambitious projects. So that's another reason to enter for a competition, and I strongly recommend you try for all these reasons that I've mentioned so far. It's been a very short video, but I hope you guys found this useful. In the next video, I'll walk you through some of the websites that you can visit to find the perfect competition for you. Oh yeah, one, one side note is that we have recently opened a new website, and this website contains a host of very useful tips and tricks that are completely free to access. Or head over to our website and go to the resource tab, and check out all the tabs for the resources that you're looking for. If you have any suggestions on what to add next, just drop us a line in our social media and I'll try our best to get to you. With that being said, it's been ArchiHacks and I'll see you in the next video.